Hello ladies and gentlemen of the lovely YouTube. Welcome to another video. And um, this time I'm going to be covering how you can modify the um UI, the first overlay that I did, um to suit your setup or your sizing of different things. I am um, obviously uh, I've modified the HUD size as you can see below here. Um, to make it smaller to show you and um, obviously it's very small and obviously in the top right hand corner you can see here it's really squashed this up but that's not a problem and um, I probably made it overly small but just to get the point across and that you see and um, what I am going to have in the info section below and um, is the download for the elements pack that make up the overlay pack one and um, so it has all the different elements in there and um, and uh, I've put them up so as you can modify them and use them to the way that suits you so if you have your scale of your HUD changed and um, hopefully this will help you to show you how to use it and how to modify it to suit what you need and um, I'm using Photoshop here I know that you can do the same thing in GIMP and um, the likes of that um, which can be very handy so let's get stuck right in uh, first of all we're gonna start off with the center part um, which, uh, t well, I can just drag that in. I'm just gonna copy and paste it into this. There's P there is PNG files, so you will be able to um, adjust them. Um, and I'm just using the transform tool to change them to suit uh, the layout. So I'm just gonna shrink this down. And, and then we'll zoom it up. So as you can see how it's going to look. So obviously we want this that it's going to cover um, what is currently here. So it's just getting the sizing right. Um, and then we should be good to go. Um, the beauty of this is that you can alter it to suit what you want. Um, and what I've also included in the pack is a couple of ticker bars so that you can you know add parts in that you want to. Um, if you want to, uh, you don't have to obviously, it's entirely up to you but it's to give you the flexibility to be able to do this. So what I've just done is I've just transformed that and shrunk it down so that it is just to fit that UI um, and even though I've shrunk it down loads it's just to overlay it, keep it nice and small because I know that quite a lot of people like to um, have their HUD nice and small so that it's not going to um, hide the game as such and um, so let me just zoom this up again and we'll go over here um, and it's very very simple if you if you can use the transform tool um, and it makes it a lot easier to just alter things and adjust it to suit what you need um, and you can you know if you need to squash things up a wee bit you can do that and um, but the main reason is to allow you the flexibility uh, to adjust it and get it to sit so I mean as you can see in like a minute there I've already done the two I've done the champ bar or the champ box in the bottom left and the center part and um, I've also included um 4 by 3 webcam windows 16 by 9 webcam windows and um, tickers uh, on both the for a larger ticker or a smaller one and um, a sponsor window mini map the whole shebang um, so it should make it um, hopefully very easy for you to uh, piece this together and do it to suit what you require. Um, generally if you're using Photoshop and you're transforming stuff the easiest thing to do while you're doing it is hold shift so that it keeps the proportion um, and if you need to then tweak it further you can do that. And um, The benefit of this is also you can in your layer styles um, you can then add in adjustments uh, so if you want to put in a wee bit of a drop shadow to make it um, a bit more you know sort of add a bit more depth to it um, and things like that you can you can do that um, and you know add in a wee bit of an inner shadow so as it's gonna just uh, again add a wee bit more depth to it and drop that down to 50% on the on the drop shadows um, so it's just you can see here if I let me zoom that up so is that going to show you um, that all this is doing is adding a very subtle amount of shadow around it 
um, and again on the inside which just adds a bit more depth to it um, and if you right click if you're using Photoshop if you right click where it says FX in your layers tab over on the right hand side here you can then copy the layer style and apply it to your other layers therefore making it very easy to adjust things as I said also in the pack you've got the tickers and um, they can be used whatever way you want and um, if you need to you can spin them around and um, but I would probably just um, flip that over so if you say you wanted a ticker above the mini map for your uh, music or things like that you could pop that in there and um, and that'll make it nice and easy for you to do that and um, it's basically the main reason I'm doing this is to give you the flexibility to alter things the way you want and um, and because they're all done as PNG files you'll be able to layer them up so if you want to put something you know if you want to put a bar behind um, the minimap you can do that and um, you can add you know little bits in and um, if you wanted to you could say let's let's bring in a webcam window um, and we'll open that up and um, all I'm doing here is just hitting control A to select all, control C to copy closing it down, dropping it in um, if I spin that round there is a thinner edge to this which is generally the edge that you um, put to the outside so if I pop this up here um, if it wants to do it uh, then you could say have a wee webcam window in the top right um, which would allow you to then pop that in there to just something a wee bit different uh, it again has a little bit of a drop shadow on it to allow you to um, just add a bit more depth to it uh, so let's see what else we could do we could drop in another ticker I am um, so we could chuck that in here and we'll put that above the champ bar on the uh, on the left hand side here um, and you can see very quickly that you're going to be able to piece together something that will maybe suit your setup better so if you've got different resolutions um, that you can do that we can pop that in there that's just you know so you can piece together make it to suit what you want um, and different things like that let me just open up um, if I just do this I'm just going to open up another one that I did that was 16 by 9 or no 16 by 9 uh, 1600 by 900 which this is going to look really weird and um, so if I do that at 1600 by 900 at 300 if you if you choose uh, 300 dpi it's probably better because it'll give you a higher quality um, higher quality a little, little if I could figure out what I want to say <laughs> um, it'll give you a better quality because it's not going to become pixelated you know it will be to a degree uh, but this is just to show you right so say I've done that I am um, and I want to pull in again center one copy or se select all copy paste hold shift while you're transforming it um, so we can shrink this down make it to sit you know if you need to tweak it a wee bit make it a wee bit bigger do different bits and bobs pop that on there bring our mini map in shrink that down Let's pop that on there pull that down make it a wee tad bigger Let's zoom in down there a wee bit. Um, you know, just move it about, shift it about a wee bit just to sit. That's pretty good there. Um, and then, so you've got that one which I've already done. And then again, just your champ window. Control A, choose it all. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Control T. If you learn shortcuts when using Photoshop, it's so much quicker. So much quicker. 
Um, it just cuts down the amount of time you're sort of faffing about with different bits and bobs. And there we go, you pretty much, you created your own overlay. You know, you could pop another wee, pop, pop a wee webcam window in there. Shrink that down, you know. So you wanted a wee webcam window in there. Put it behind, if you put it behind the layers, you know, then it's going to just keep it all nice and tidy. Wee webcam window, drag it down, change the layer order. And we've got that tucked in behind, and you can put your webcam in there. Um, then you just, to save it, generally just hide the layer. I would suggest, obviously, the easiest way to do this is take a screenshot of the way you have your um, game set up and the scale of the HUD. Um, then you can just overlay the stuff. Pish bash bosh. There you go. All done. All looks smexy. Makes it a lot easier. Obviously, I've already, in the other uh, overlay that I released, I've already put the pack in of that. Um, let me just bring that up for you. Um, and it'll show you... Um, do -do -do -do. Let me just find it. <laughs> Never put things where you're meant to put them. Um, so we have the overlays uh, for the second um, overlay that I did. So again, we can just do the same thing. Pop that in there. Shrink it down a wee bit. Chuck it into the corner. Bang. There you go. That's that one done. Champ window. Again, control. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. Control T, or paste it onto the window. Pop that down there. Um, I've had lots of comments of people sort of saying, right, how do I modify this to suit what I need? You know, whether it be 16.9 resolution or you might have, um, you know, a multi-screen setup, different things like that. Um, and this is the sort of, this is the easiest way that I can see to, um, oop, um, Control A, Control C, Control W closes a window, by the way, so that's another handy thing to do. Um, and then you can just scale the set, um, and you are good to go. And if you need to, you can just squash it down a wee bit. And then that's that one done. And hey presto, you've got an overlay done. I've included the webcam windows and everything in the second pack as well. I'll put the two links in the description below, um, which will allow you to easily download them. Get that sorted. Um, piece together what you need. Um, I'm doing this rather than doing the PS, releasing the PSDs, just because it's easier if I just give you all the elements that you can then put together um, and uh, allow you to sort of customize it. And you can, you know, if you're using the likes of Photoshop, you could, if you wanted to, go in, hit color overlay, change your color mode to color, obviously, um, and then you can. So if you wanted to adjust things. You could then, you know, adjust the color on it, uh, and then again you can just right click on where it says FX over here, copy the layer style, base layer style, base layer style, and you've altered the color of the overlay, um, allowing you that wee bit more freedom to just adjust things. Um, and uh, once you've done that, if you save that as a PSD, you could go back and go, mm, I don't really like that, and maybe have it as a blue sort of color. Um, or you know things like that. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can the two best blend modes to use are um, generally I would say overlay or color. Overlay just works a wee bit different um, in what it does, uh, and you lose a wee bit of brightness. Um, but it does do a good job of um, adjusting that and changing it. So it makes it very easy for you to go in and oop and uh, you know quickly adjust that to sit what you want so guys that's pretty much it um, I would really love it if you sub to the channel and um, be sure to you know like the like the video get it out there share it and um, I'll be putting a post up on reddit so I'll also maybe put the link in the info tab below for that so that you can go on there and if you find it useful you can uh, 
bang in a wee upvote there and leave me comments and stuff like that. I am working on another overlay which I hope to have released at the end of the week. Um, and that one will be uh, a wee bit different and I might do it in different colours as well. So as you have that wee bit of freedom uh, to sort of pick and choose what you want. But anyway, my name has been Temporal Cortex. This has been a little sort of tutorial to show you stuff. And uh, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks very much guys. Bye now.